what's going on out there, everybody? It's your boy Rico checking back in for another blessed money of the week. And this week, we're going to be talking about the way you make a living. I know sometimes it can be tempting to try to take shortcuts in life or maybe even do some things that may be unethical or illegal to make a quick buck, but the Bible warns you against it. So you don't want to miss this week's blessed money. Stay tuned. Father, we thank you for your word. We ask you that you open our hearts, our ears, and our minds so that we hear the truth and that we understand the truth. And anything that is not the truth, we ask you to erase that from our minds, Lord. And we ask that it goes in one ear and out the other. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, so this week's blessed testimony comes from Proverbs chapter 15, verses 6. It says the following Great treasures is in the house of the righteous. But the gain of the wicked brings trouble. You know, sometimes the Bible can be very hard to understand. And other times you come across a scripture that's so simple and so easy that even if you don't 100% agree with the Bible or believe in God, you know what it's saying is true. And you know it's good advice. And this particular scripture is a great example of that. So what Proverbs 15 verse 6 is telling us is that if you're a righteous person, you're going to be blessed. You're going to have treasures. And it's not always just money. It can be a great family. It can be your health. It can be friends that's, that are there for you when you need them. But you, God is going to provide not only what you need, but even more. And we, we can see evidence of that in our life all the time. We always seem to have what we need and even more, regardless if we're not a very rich or wealthy person. Now, on the other side of that, you got the wicked person. And the wicked person seen to always have it made, especially stuff that's pleasing to the flesh. Nice cars, women, money. Uh, if you're a woman, men, I don't want to leave anybody out. Um, but whatever it is, it seems like that the people that take the shortcuts in life always seem to uh, come out on top. But I can tell you like this, the Bible warns you that if you make your money or your way of living in an ungodly way or a wicked way, troubles are surely to follow. And there's plenty of examples of this. All right, so hopefully the blessed money of the week will kind of help shed a little bit more light on this. All right, so the sad truth is I have plenty of friends and family members who uh, decided to steal, kill, and rob to make money. And although they had nice cars and they uh, had a lot of money and they were able to do certain things, um, just like the Bible scripture said, it ended, up in, uh, it ended up bringing trouble in their life. Matter of fact, I never met my dad. My dad uh, actually died in prison. Uh, the reason he was in prison, uh, I think it was for murder. Uh, but he, not in addition to being a murderer, he's also a drug dealer. And just that type of lifestyle bring those type of problems. Uh, but for me, for this particular blessing, I want to try to take it a little less obvious route. Uh, anybody who know me knows that I always wanted to play in the NFL. As a kid, all I wanted to do was play football. I love football. Unfortunately, I didn't have the size and I didn't, honestly, I didn't have the dedication for it either. But when I didn't get picked up to go to the NFL, I was angry. I was angry with God. I was angry with myself. I was angry with my mom. Uh, I was angry with a lot of people because I felt like I was kind of robbed of an opportunity. Uh, a, a lot of times, I, uh, one of the biggest reasons I was angry with God was because I felt like I didn't have a father who could help teach me. Everything I learned about football, I had to learn myself. You know, So uh, I didn't have uh, anybody to kind of get in the yard and throw with me. I just had a, uh, a heart and a drive to just want to play the game, a love for the game. Funny thing about it, I don't really like to watch it. I probably couldn't even tell you 15 football players that are in the NFL right now, but that was the career path I wanted to be in. Uh, didn't really care to watch it, but loved to play it. However, um, that wasn't that wasn't uh, God's plan for me. I ended up joining the Air Force, and that was actually a, a huge blessing for me because I can tell you, I don't know where my life would be had I not joined the Air Force. Um, and so um, I believe that the reason why God didn't allow me to go to the NFL because I was a fairly good football player. And had I applied myself a little harder, I probably could have, you know, went higher than what I did. But I honestly feel like um, the reason why it was because God knew had I joined the NFL and became rich and famous, there was no way I would be able to hear from him. I mean, just a couple of years, matter of fact, 
a few months ago, me being an uh, airman in the Air Force, I didn't want to hear anything. And I know if I would have had a lot of money, if I would have been rich, I would have been like Kanye in, in that Wait that I Get My Money Right song, you know. Uh-uh, was you saying something? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. That's exactly how I would be. I know I'm wilding out right now, kind of quoting Kanye or whatever. But to be completely honest, I wouldn't want to hear anything about God. Matter of fact, a couple months ago, I didn't want to hear anything about God. And so had I had all that money, I probably would, uh, all my sins and all the things that I struggle with would have been amplified. You know, I would have, uh, I definitely, I definitely wouldn't be able to treat a woman right because I struggle with lust. You know, I definitely would have uh, probably been a greedy person and want to hoard all the money for myself and just get richer and richer. Uh, I, I mean, it's just a number of things that I struggle with and I wasn't rich. So I know if I had a lot of money, it would have been 10 times worse. But um, instead of me following the path of my uh, dad and following the path of my friends with my NFL dreams, uh, quickly got crushed. Uh, uh, God allowed me to join the Air Force. And by, by doing so, I was able to provide for my family in a righteous manner. And although I don't drive the nicest cars, I, um, uh, we're not hurting at all. You know, we have some pretty nice cars, some reliable cars that'll get us there. We have a nice size house. I'm able to record this video right now on a Mac, you know, so not to brag or anything, but I, I have been blessed. I have everything I need and what I want. And my kids are well taken care of. My family, well taken care of, um, so, um, God has still provided for me. And the good thing about it is I'm not dead yet. So I could be rich one day. I could make that money one day, but the difference would be if I were to get rich now, I know God, I put Christ first. I seek him first. So, uh, I know that his plan and his will for all of us is that when he blesses us, he wants us to be a blessing to others. So I feel confident that if I were to become wealthy, if I were to become rich, that I wouldn't abuse it like I would have had I joined the NFL. Um, and for those of you all who are living a lifestyle that may be illegal or, you know, uh, one that's kind of unethical, if you will, uh, it may be, it may seem like things are good now, but uh, karma catches up with you. So I urge you to please, please just think about what you're doing. And just reconsider because this this particular scripture, whether you believe in God or not, is true. Troubles do come from living a wicked life. Okay, so just like always, guys, if you found any value in this uh, blessed money of the week, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button. Either way, leave a comment. You know, share uh, share your thoughts. Share your uh, examples or your blessed testimonies for this particular scripture, all right? If you got a different understanding, I would like to hear that as well. I'm not perfect. I'm just a, a simple man trying to do what God has called me to do and be a blessing and help you be, uh, get a better understanding of the word. Most importantly, please go over to blessedmoney.com, become a member, and share your blessings and your testimonies. There are multiple things you could do on the site. I have the blessed money of the week. You can request different blessed money. You can request prayers. And then also, there's like a social media type page to where you can feel free to show all the blessings and the great things God has done for you. All right. So with that being said, until next week, it's your boy Rico checking out. If you decided today that you want to give your life to Christ and be saved or delivered from your sins, then Romans chapter 10 verses 9 spells out exactly what you need to do. It says the following, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It is simple as that. All you got to do is confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved.